Well, hello everyone! Welcome, my name is Fresselmus and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can build this bridge that you see behind me. Some of you asked me to show you how to build this bridge, because I have shown some of the building techniques I used with this bridge. But yeah, some of you wanted to know how I did building this bridge. Well, I'm not gonna show you how I totally built this bridge from scratch, because that takes way too long. Because you can use the techniques I used, and I will show you a little bit step by step, and the rest is all up to you. So let's go, and let's get started. Well, some of you asked me to build a bigger bridge. Well, that <laughs> was the thing I tried first, to build a massive bridge from that side all the way to the other side. And as you can see, I came with the tower and piece of the bridge all the way to the other side. And then I started with a second tower and then I had problems. Because you can't see it when I do it. But if I gonna place a wall or a ceiling here, then the frame rate drops from yeah, 30, 25 all the way to 1. So it uh, takes about 30 to... 50 seconds to place one ceiling so that's why I didn't finish this building but yeah I wanted to show you so let's go on with the tutorial on how to build that suspension bridge well for the start you always start with choosing your location and then you start with a pillar ceiling technique I have shown in the previous videos or previous video I mean so you have to do this from one side all the way to the other side. So I'm not gonna show you how I did this because you can see that in my bridge building technique video. So yeah, that's not so hard to do. Just build it and yeah, connect everything and you can start doing the rest. And once you've done that, so once you've done all the pillars and ceiling from the one end to the other end, well, then comes the next part, you have to decide what is the middle of the bridge. Well, I just simply use it with some ceilings. So let me fly. And I build ceilings from one end to the other end. It's like a bridge as you see. And after 10 ceilings I place a pillar all the way to the other end. And as you can see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that part is 50 ceilings wide, so this would be the middle. Well, 25 is the middle, so I choose those two. And as you can see, this is the middle of the bridge. So now we know the middle of the bridge, and then you're gonna place a pillar from the bottom. Well, you can use this ceiling of course, and place it all the way down to the bottom. And then you're gonna place it up to the height where you think, well, my bridge is going to be this high or that high. So that's up to you to decide how high you want to have your bridge. And as you can see here, I have it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 walls and then come the slope roofs. So 8 walls above the water. So you can do the same or you can do it different, that's up to you. Well, what you then gonna do is start from here, all the way to the other side again, and all the way to that side. And of course, you have to decide what your bridge is going to look like. So let me play some ceilings and I'll be right back. So from this pillar and this ceiling, I extended the ceilings in the shape I want to have the bridge. So underneath here, as you can see over here, I have three walls, then two going in, then two will go out, two going in again, and another three walls. So that's the shape of my bridge. And over here I extend four ceilings out, because I want to have this look created you see here so it's not one uh, small tower or 
one tin tower but it's a little bit thicker and when it goes down it gets bigger and bigger so that's what I decided to do just a little bit as the broken blitz well then you just place yeah walls all the way down and you can decide oh to keep it like this and if you want to recreate what I did over there then you just have to place some walls down and place a ceiling and then you can place a sloped roof so you can get this effect so it's not that hard it's just that you know how to build and over here as you can see in the inside on the inside I place ceilings as well and you can do that as well to strengthen your bridge and you definitely definitely don't want to have the bridge standing on one pillar so you have to build more pillars so you can use for example let me take some pillars a pillar here all the way down and yeah you can do the same on this side and I think I did this did that as well yeah you can see it over here you can see my extra pillar so if one pillar goes down then not the whole bridge is going down so you can do that as well and for the other part for this yeah for these structures I suggest you should w watch the uh, bridge technique video so you can create the same so just place some metal ceilings from this side to the other side and you decide how big it's going to be and then you start with those crosses and later on you place the stone yeah the stone ceilings to mimic the yeah the road of the bridge and once you've done that yeah then you can create the rest of the tower so just building up and you decide where you're gonna have this spot and I have it let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine walls high and then the sloped roof is coming so you can do that as well nine walls high from the bridge going up and then the sloped roofs and then we have another let me see how many we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so from the sloped roofs it's 17 walls high and then you get the other part of the tower where the ceilings are halfway on the wall and this part is three walls high and it's four walls wide so yeah just uh, you can copy my b uh, bridge if you like but if you have some fantasy and some imagination then just use that and make your own awesome bridge <laughs> so this part is four walls and this part is five walls just so you know and for the arch well from the top it is six walls down and then two up and then comes the other part and here is the uh, other part as well so it's six four three and if you do the same on this side as well of course well everything is connected so that is the tower part well you can fancy it up with some metal fences or wood or stone or whatever you like I prefer the metal one because I use metal down here as well and for this part of the sp suspension cables also check out the uh, the bridge building technique video because I explain it in there how you can do it you just have to take in mind 
how where you're going to start and how high the tower is going to be so if you copy this bridge you should notice that from here it is every two ceilings gets one electric cable going up so let me count for you it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen ceilings and then comes this part well this part of the bridge it isn't so hard because you already have ceilings here and yeah you have the ceilings on the inside as well as you can see you just place walls all the way down and just recreate it and yeah I use this part three walls high just like I did over there at the top of the tower and it is three walls high and three walls wide fr from the bridge as you can see here and then yeah then just build down use the slope roofs and here you can use the slope roofs as well and you can also see the ramp video I made I also use slope roofs so you can check that out as well so let me see did I show you everything well <laughs> of course I didn't show you everything because I'm not gonna build this whole bridge again from scratch it's just yeah so you have an idea how to build it and with this guidance you should be able to recreate it just watch the movie or the movie just watch the videos a couple of times the time-lapse videos you can use or this video and you can build it yourself so the tower up here is four walls high and down here it is six walls or s four walls high I mean four walls wide and here it is six walls wide so yeah do what you like and build your own stuff you can do it I believe in you and for this part here I didn't use the same uh, wall height as you see with those so I just picked up some random yeah pillar and ceiling height because of all the connections you can choose whatever you like so this one is a little bit higher as you can see than over here so yeah I think if I would redo it I would make them the same but yeah you also have to look where you build it because you have problems with the beads of course so I did it like this three walls wide and three walls high well and for the finishing touches as you can see here I used the stone railings so you can place them I did the same up there and I use pillars to uh, yeah enhance the corners here and there can be a problem I had a problem with those normally you can place it like this all the way down into the ground and one more and then you can demolish this ceiling and it will stand well here I had a problem when I demolished the ceiling as you can see it is in the ground somehow the whole pillar collapsed I don't know it just do doesn't record that it's yeah it's in the ground so what you need to do if you have that remove this ceiling place the ceiling down here place a fence foundation it can be stone it can be wood that doesn't matter because it, you can cover it up with the stone wall and then oh I need to delete this wall as well and then you can use the technique to have the pillar attached to the fence foundation 
So, now you don't have the problem anymore. And you can just continue building. So, place a wall to finish it off. And the ceiling of course. Like that. Well, then you can finish the railings. If you like. So that's how I did my corner ports with the pillars. So, yeah, you can do the same here with the big ones. From the top, you can use the uh, the technique with the ceiling. And then you have to go all the way down into the ground. That's what I did here. Or you can use that other technique, the fence foundation technique. So that's up to you. And if you use the fence foundation technique here, yeah, then you don't have to place pillars all the way down. S so that's up to you what you like for a design. And here you have to go all the way up. <laughs> and to place those pillars I use also fence foundation. Just place them here on the corner. And from down you can't see them. And then you can just place the pillars. And they keep floating. And for those pillars here. Well. You already have a. Oh I need more pillars I see. <laughs> well you already have. Ceilings up here. So. Just place the pillars. All the way down. As far as you like. And then you have that ready. And here I did the same. With those corners. So. Let me see. If I can remove it, yes. So just place some pillars and it will look a little bit better. At least I think it will look a little bit better. And yeah, sometimes you have problems placing them. Well, I suggest you use or scaffolding or a quetzal for this. Since it is a little bit finicky. Well, I don't need to show it further. <laughs> You can see it how I did it in the corner. And I think it's way better for the tower. So it doesn't look like a box. So it looks a little bit more detailed. But that's up to you. So that's it guys. Now you know how to build this tower bridge. With suspension cables and the structures underneath it. So... If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment below. And as always, leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't already, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.